I have a question for you. Okay, have you ever tried meditation? If you have not, do you ever suffer from having a really hard time focusing or have a lot of stress in your brain? Um, well, meditation helps. Think of it this way. Okay, have you ever taken a piss or dropped a dookie and you hear that ringing in your ears? Um, well, that ringing, every time I meditate, I start hearing that ringing. Anytime you hear silence, okay? In a way, that's meditation. That's meditative. Um, why is it that whenever you make the best decisions or the coolest ideas come to your mind is at the end of the night? Because you're about to go to sleep and you're thinking clearly. Um, your brain's sort of in a blissful, um, reminiscing kind of feel, right? Because you're, you're laying there, you have no responsibilities, right? You're at the end of your night, you're just laying there. Everything's done. You're getting ready to just chill and go to sleep, right? But you come up with the greatest ideas around that time, right? You figure out what you're going to do next week. You figure out your, where you're going to go to school. You figure out what kind of job you want. Those are kind of where you come up with most of your ideas in life. Uh, late at night or when you're waking up in the morning. That's kind of the same way meditation works, except you don't have to per se go to sleep. There are some people that meditate with their eyes wide open. There are some people that meditate in the light, under a light. There are some people that meditate in the complete dark. Me, I do a mixture of both. Um, if you look up what's called your chakras, C H A. <sighs> yeah, yeah, spell that. C H A K R A S. Um, basically, they're energy points, seven of them, um, that go from the top of your spine all the way to the bottom of your spine. And no, there's no scientist that's going to say, this is this chakra, this is this chakra. But apparently, there's some truth to that uh, in some kind of. Uh, Something to do with in uh, emergency rooms, they have some kind of graph that they use by color coordination, and that same color coordination is used by chakras. There's a certain color for each chakra. Um, I need to memorize them. But they help with uh, meditating because you could focus on these certain points of your body. Um, there's um, chakra up here. Uh, that's like uh, your connection to the universe. And here. That's beside the point of meditation. That's just an extra added bonus. Let's talk about meditation itself. What do you do in meditation? Meditation, basically, you're just easing pressure, right? You're just releasing everything in your brain. You're holding an empty palette and letting it be empty. And you're and once you do that, you paint whatever you want onto it, okay? Say you're really stressed out. You need to get all of this pressure out of your head or you're going to explode then do it okay you go somewhere quiet with zero distractions no sounds no loud noises anything that's distracting your brain even a little ee ringing from a tv is going to distract you in some way shape or form go somewhere completely quiet until you can kind of hear that ringing in your ears right um and then just sit there in my case i do it with my eyes closed pun unintended Okay, you're sitting there, you're imagining nothing. Or you can imagine uh, just a blank piece of paper. You can imagine a blackboard. You can imagine a black square. And you imagine nothing there. Okay, right? You imagine nothing. You're clearing your head of all thoughts. Then you focus on your breathing. And you really try to have a, have, have a healthy breath, right? Really enjoy that breath. Longer, deeper breaths. And really feel them. And they eventually they kind of find a way to bring you into another state of consciousness. Um, in certain points of meditation, I've actually left my body. Um, that's only happened like uh, literally a handful of times. It's really hard. Uh, I still have a really hard time focusing sometimes. I do meditate, but sometimes focusing is pretty hard because I have these things that grow through my sinuses, and it keeps me from getting all the oxygen that I need into this place up here. So meditation helps, though. It relieves a lot of pressure, and literally it can turn your bad day into a fucking field full of sprinkles. I don't know. Something awesome. But... Yeah, try meditation. It's not bad. Um, and it really helps you. Uh, sometimes whenever I'm trying to get to a higher point in meditation, 
uh, if I'm trying to attract something to me, I will imagine a light right in the middle of my forehead. Um, it represents your pineal gland, your creativity, your imagination. Um, so in my case, I imagine a really bright ball of light right here. Sometimes it helps for you to paint the picture in your own mind's eye if you're kind of looking at a bright thing. Okay, right? And then you can kind of remember what you saw with your eyes closed, and then you can kind of imagine it there. Um, do that. Imagine a just really full bright light and find a way for that bright light to feel or to fill your entire body. Have it feel it right here. You imagine it. You see it. You feel it. You watch it expand. And then eventually you let it fill your entire body. I've kind of put a couple of my friends under some kind of uh, hypnotic trance. Not to where I could have them like go walk my dog without realizing they're doing it. But I mean like they just like after I do that for 10 minutes and describe to them this meditative thing and I walk them through this uh, meditation and then I have them wake up, you see their eyes and they're just smiling from fucking ear to ear, right? And their entire face is just full. You know, my friend Tyler told me once uh, when I helped walk him through meditation, he told me, he's like, dude, I felt like I was levitating off the bed. Like, literally i feel great i feel like i just slept for five days straight that is what meditation can do for you it can literally charge you charge you it can charge your entire body within like five minutes of just sitting down and um chilling um if you want to get into some kind of more advanced meditation and help yourself focus and kind of be even more energized look up buddhist ohm routines okay just type in buddhist OM uh, meditation, okay? And then there'll just be videos of them going, um, sounds crazy, sounds weird, especially with uh, all of us Americanized people that think it's uncool to do things that look weird and sound weird to people. But you know what? Branch outside of your box a little bit. Try it. If no one's around and you're not feeling a little in insecure, try meditation, okay? Imagine a warm, bright ball of light and just let that thing fill you. And if you do that, then focus on something you want to attract, okay? Because supposedly that's how the law of attraction works, right? Have you ever heard of it? If you ever watch a documentary on Netflix or you can find it on YouTube called The Secret, it talks about the law of attraction. Basically, like attracts like. If you think about this, well, it might come around here, okay? I think of the color blue, the color blue starts coming around, right? Everywhere. Um, I think of a Mercedes Benz, I'm starting to see those things pop up everywhere. Uh, I'm thinking about my friend, and well, my friend just appears at my doorstep or texts me on the phone. I don't have a phone, so that's kind of a lie. Um, anything you can perceive or paint a picture of in your brain, you are attracting. Have you ever just thought of someone and they text you or show up at your house or you hear about them? Have you ever thought about a song? and it just randomly appears on the radio or appears on YouTube. You ever thought of a video and you and out of nowhere it's on it's on <laughs> right in front of your face. Um I remember there was, when I was in jail. Yeah, cuz it's really cool to be there. Just kidding. It's not. Don't go there. But I learned a lot of good lessons that I needed to get over. Um while I was in there, I met a guy named uh what was his name? No, 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 no. no. Damn it, he was a really cool dude. Uh, I think his name was Lavelle. Um, anyway, I was talking to him about this law of attraction thing, and I was just like, dude, it's blowing my mind. And he was very religious, very into the Bible, and he's just like, whatever, dude, you know, whatever. I'm like, come on, try it. Just anything you think of, try to attract it to you. And he's like, okay. Well, I also remember, uh, like, uh, within 30 minutes of that conversation we had, he was talking about, he was like, Man, you know what I haven't seen in a long time? So I was th I've, been, I've been thinking about the Hatfield McCoys, right? And I was like, yeah, that's that's interesting. I don't know too much about them, but uh, that's cool. Cool that you're thinking about it. Cool to be thinking of things that make you happy. Cool stories. Uh, the next morning, I'm passed out and sleeping in my little jail cell. He comes, shakes me up. He's like, dude, 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 Nick, Nick. Guess what's on TV right fucking now? I'm like, what? He's like... Hatfield and McCoys, and I'm just like, I didn't make that happen. You did. 
that is how life works, okay? I'm not blowing your mind. You are. You're attracting to things. Why do you think people think psychics are so bad? Because they go to a psychic and bad things happen. Psychics don't make it happen. They get the energy out of you. All of it happens from you, right? Um, if you go to a psychic with a lot of insecurity, if you go to a psychic with a lot of nervousness, if you go to a psychic thinking something bad's going to happen, you're going to attract that bad thing of happening, okay? But with psychics, all they're doing is kind of manifesting the energy that you're giving them. Okay, so if you go into a psychic or look at life just in a positive mindset, you're going to have nothing but positives happen to you. Okay, you could take any bad situation and turn it into a good situation. Very positive. Your friend died? That sucks, and I've been there. But there's still beautiful ways to paint a beautiful picture for lots of beautiful people without just getting beat up about things that are bad that have happened to you, right? With every door that shuts, a million open. Okay, that's how, that's how everything works. Um, so just think of the things you want, try to attract them, imagine them at night, feel them, picture them in your head. Uh, the guy that came up with the book, chicken soup for the chicken soup, chicken soup for the soul. Chicken soup for the soul. Uh, he had the idea. He paint or, uh, taped a, uh, a check, a, uh, a check that said like a hundred thousand dollars on it on his ceiling. So every night he'd go to sleep and he'd see that check saying $100,000 every night. Okay, so every night he's going to sleep and thinking about $100,000. Well, eventually he came up with an idea to sell a bunch of books uh, for a quarter each to a lot of people. A lot of people buy one book for a quarter. Wait, what do you mean? I only spend one quarter and I get all this awesome information? Yeah, that's worth the... Toss that change, man. Uh, apparently, at the end of that year, his stock or uh, his net income was ninety-eight thousand dollars. Very close to one hundred thousand dollars. Irony, coincidence. Those are just words used to distract people from what's really happening around them. It's just a reflection of synchronicity between you and the world that's happening around you. The world is literally just a reflection of all of us mixed together. It's like. The world is a reflection of you. The world is a mirror, okay? You look in a mirror and expect a mirror to change for you, you know? This is a mirror. I want you to smile. Why aren't you smiling, mirror? It's not going to happen unless you smile yourself, right? Now the mirror is smiling back at you. That's how society works. That's how our lives work. That's how everything happens. Do you ever wake up in a bad mood and it's dark and gloomy and raining and outside, clouds everywhere, overcast? Do you ever wake up in a super freaking awesome mood and you're just like, I'm going to go fuck shit up today. And coincidentally, it's really bright and sunny outside, right? It's because it's just synchronicity, man. Um, the world is a reflection of you. So if you think about negative things all the time, negative things are going to keep happening to you. If you keep feeling sorry for yourself and feeling bad, that's just going to keep happening. Um, so yeah attract better things um i'd be on facebook nick fury listen to my this is my music soundcloud.com slash nick underscore fury nick fury ninjas all right listen to my music i make dubstep rap and i have some cool lyrics in there that kind of talk about the same things i'm doing right here so uh yeah fill yourself with positive vibes and stuff because that's just good to do yeah be positive, bro. Be positive. Here, let's, let's close with something weird. 